Hello, I'm at the Scottish Motorcycle Show today and one of the reasons I love coming to this show is all of the custom bikes, the classic and the vintage bikes. Just love having a look around them. So let's have a look and see what we've got on display this year then. Lovely custom paint job on this one. Very patriotically Scottish. Braveheart, of course. Unfortunately, it's quite difficult to, to get to see the, the bikes. There's a lot of them crammed in and of course they're behind barriers, understandably, so it's uh, uh, difficult getting decent pictures of some of these bikes, which is a pity because they're gorgeous. I recognise this one. It uh, belongs to my friend Ian. In fact, um, I did the leather work for this bike. The uh, bag you can see on the side is one of my creations. Great bike, lovely bike, nice one Ian, nice to see your bike on show. I'm always a sucker for a Triumph. There's some really nice custom bikes on show this year. Lovely, lovely bikes. Yeah, this is definitely my um, my favourite of the UK shows for, for you know checking out custom bikes. And in a minute, I'll go and have a look at some of the classic and the vintage bikes as well. One of the things I love is the range of different bikes, the range of different donor bikes. You know, they're not not all Harleys. And uh, you know bikes like this, like the Honda CX500 and his uh, you know old BMW. These bikes that people used to use as runarounds, you know, when when I was younger. Now they're being built as customs. Great to see. Wow, that's an absolute beauty. Look at those bellmouth carbs on there. I bet that sounds absolutely gorgeous when it's running. A howl of a six cylinder engine through that exhaust pipe. So look at that exhaust. That's an absolute beauty isn't it? There's a, another uh, CBX um, custom, I'll go and have a look at that in a minute as well. We're into the Kawasaki's now, there's a few very nice Kawasaki's lined up here, gorgeous. I do like this one. That's a beauty, absolute beauty. Unfortunately, I, I can't get further back to get a decent picture of this one. That's lovely. So, do you notice something unusual about this one? It's a Kawasaki, but that's definitely not a Kawasaki engine in there. Recognise that, Suzuki, used to have one with a nice blower on it as well. You know, rat bikes are not really my thing, but um, looking at this one, somebody's put so much effort into this. It's a real work of art. And the lovely thing is, uh, look at all the look of all of that rust on it. It's actually gold paint and it's been really nicely applied. Beautiful, so that it, it looks like rust and you know, the weld lines and rivets and things like that. Yeah, a lot of work gone into making that bike look tatty, though in actual fact it, it's not, it's beautiful.
classic thumper here and isn't that an absolutely beautiful example immaculate the little Yamaha DT lovely bike getting round to the enthusiast stands now with the, the classic bikes and the vintage bikes and uh, there's some beautiful examples isn't this one absolutely gorgeous that is a very striking colour isn't it that blue that old Harley Davidson beautiful bike wow that is really impressive I remember back in the early 1980s, many of my friends used to ride these little MZs. They all had British bikes in bits in the garage, but what they actually rode were these little MZs. So I look back on them with great affection. Really uh, robust bikes from what I remember. And of course I'm a sucker for motor gutsies. There's some beauties on this stand, but they're all packed in so tight. Again, it's really difficult to see them. But look at that little one. That's really nice. And you know, the nice thing as well, all these bikes look like they're used and they're ridden. They're not just um, you know show bikes. But there's a couple behind here if I can get to the ah right, I've got to get around the side and take a picture of that one. That's a 404. Yeah, look at that, 404. Gorgeous. Now, this is the one that really caught my eye. That's an absolute beauty. On to the Norton Onus stand now. There's quite a few bikes on this stand that I recognise, being I'm a member of the Norton Owners Club and so there's a few of these bikes I've definitely seen before at rallies and the likes. There are some really nice triumphs on this stand, but it's quite difficult to get to see them. They're all pushed in. A lot of them are right at the back of the stand and all the owners are stood in the way. You can't get to see them. There's a very big turnout of Scots here, big stand here, obviously, got a very strong um, following up here.
aren't these just wonderful? They hark back to the days before there was a kind of a agreed format and design for motorbikes and every manufacturer was exploring and inventing and just going in different directions. Lovely bikes. Wow, just look at this. The colours are, the colours are very bold, aren't they? Now, Lovely Vincent here. This is the only one I've seen here. Yeah, I think it's the only one at the show. But isn't it a beauty? Absolutely gorgeous. For me, this is the pinnacle of British motorcycling. All of these revivals of, of different uh, bikes we've seen these days, wouldn't it be nice to see a revival of Vincent? That's a nice late Bonneville. It's a T140D, this one. Nice example. Very nice. Another beautiful bike. These are these are going for serious money now. You know these little triumphs. And a glorious Norton here. Very very beautifully restored is that bike. an interesting old Indian. Don't see that many Americana over here, but um, yeah, it is nice to see them. Here's the other CBX that I mentioned earlier, I spotted it, the Hulk. <laughs> They're lovely bikes, aren't they? Beautiful engineering. Oh, nice Harley Davidson Springer over there, I'll have to get around that side and have a look at those. So many nice bikes at the show this year, great to see them all out again. There's a Nimbus here, you don't see many of those around. Very interesting seat on the thing as well. There's a lovely old rudge behind this. My friend Ted would like that rudge. Just look at that. It's a beauty, isn't it? So I've just gone round the other side of this display. So that's the other side of the uh, Hulk CBX, and this is that um, Springer Softail that I spotted from the other side. Nice. Always had a soft spot for these. I think they're gorgeous bikes. The Springer front end. If you want that sort of classic retro look, you can't beat that. Lovely example. And there's a Rocket 3. BSA Rocket 3. Long predates the modern rockets made by Triumphs, but uh, this is the the origin of the name. Nice example that one. I can remember back in the 80s, um, one of my friends had one. It's a very nice bike. Don't know if he's still got it. This is a little CZ dirt bike. I used to have one of these many years ago. Can't remember what happened to it. Anyway, I think I've just about covered all the customs and the classics, so I hope you've enjoyed having a look around with me. Thanks for tagging along, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.